guys, Cory here from Well Beauty Blog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a smoky eye with a neutral lip using Jane Iredell's new holiday palette. It's called the Glamour Eye and Lip Palette, and here it is. You can see the, let me get the mirror out of the way so you're not getting weird reflections. So you have five lip glosses and 10 lipsticks, and then you have um, 15 eyeshadows. So it's pretty awesome all of the colors that you get and I'll have a lot of pictures on my blog but I wanted to show you how the colors looked. It has some of my favorite colors included which is pretty awesome when you have a palette that already has some of your favorite colors and the palette's a really nice size. The mirror folds down and then this folds and so it's just a really nice small palette uh, you can keep it in your purse, you can keep it at work. I'm gonna keep mine at work because it's just really nice, you know, you're at work and then all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, I have a holiday happy hour after work I have to go to and I forgot to put on eyeshadow and eyeliner and all this stuff. So you can grab the palette, head to the bathroom and do your eyes real quick. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. They also have a new, Jane Iredell is they, also came out with the, I love the name, Snappy Brush Wand. So it is snappy, it's magnetic. So you have these little brushes that are then like snapped inside. So you have the crease brush, then you have the eyeliner brush, then the smudge brush. And I'm going to show you how to use these with the palette. So it's just really awesome that these all snap and fit together. Um, so you can keep this with your palette in your purse or at work or wherever and just do your eyes and lips on the go. The palette does come with its own little lip brush. It doesn't come with an eyeshadow brush, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I'm guessing they just want you to pick up the, the snappy wand and so you have these three eyeshadow brushes. Which is really nice actually that it's, um, if you can see, I'll try and hold it nice and close um, and I'll get out of the way. It, um, they're really like full size. They're not like what you would consider cheapy little brushes that you sometimes get in sets. They're, they're really good, you know, full size brushes. So without further ado, I will stop talking and show you. So I'm first going to take the crease brush and I'm going to put on... Hush, which is sort of like a, a neutral color. I think I've actually featured it on the blog before. And I'm just going to put this on the upper half of my lid. And especially up under the eyebrows, it's kind of amazing to me how just a little bit of a color or a light, you know, light color underneath the brows just really makes your whole eye look just seem a little bit more refined. I noticed that Jen would always do that and I started doing it. I'm like, wow, it really does make a difference just having a little bit right under. They do, in the palette, they do have a couple nice light colors. I'll show you. Oh, I dropped a little brush. Um, they have a couple nice light ones, and like I said, I'll have the pictures on the blog as well. So if you want to do something even lighter, they do have a nice white. And I'll be right back. Where did my little brush go? Oh, there it is. And I'm back. Okay, so now that I have the light color up here and up here, I'm going to use Supernova. And Supernova is um, a color I have not used before, but it is gorgeous. It's now my new favorite color um, that's in this palette. And I'm going to have to pick up a full size because I love it. And I don't know if you can hear my dogs barking. I don't know what they're barking about. They probably saw someone walk across the street like 30 feet away and, you know, they got to warn them to stay away from, from the property. The two pugs are, are quite ferocious and intimidating, I'm sure, to anyone walking by. I think they forget that they're like, you know, tiny and itty bitty. Okay, back to the eyeshadows though. The pugs got me off topic. So as you can see, the Supernova, I just love this color. I'm gonna have to pick it up in full size. Um, it's sort of just like a shimmery, medium brown, I guess you yeah, would call it. Oh, it's just so pretty. So I'm kind of going right up to the brow bone, so like right up to here with the color because I'm going to be doing the dark color right above the lash line. Wow, the pugs are like really going crazy. I don't know what they're going crazy about. 
So now I have the eyeshadow, as you can see. So when I even open my eyes, it's a little bit above. I'm gonna go see what the pugs are barking about. I'll be right back. And I'm back. It turns out it was the UPS truck across the street that, uh, I don't know about your dogs, but my dogs hate the UPS, man. Poor guy, they bark. They go crazy anytime they see him. And he was parked across the street, so of course they had to bark. Um, okay, so I have Supernova now um, in the middle. So now we're gonna work on the smokiness. So I'm gonna use the handy dandy smudge brush and they have this color on here called Double Espresso, which is just this beautiful matte dark brown. It's really, really pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking, cause I'm pretty fair. So I don't really like to go too crazy with the smoky eyes cause then I think it can look just a little, a little off on me because I am so fair. So I'm just very lightly tapping it in and I'll just keep doing that and applying little by little by little rather than kind of going crazy and applying a whole bunch at once. It's I like to start light and build up rather than kind of go crazy and then have to try and take some off. So I'm gonna start underneath and just very lightly under the lashes just kind of do an eyeliner. So as you can see, have a nice little eyeliner. And even that, actually, I kind of forget how dark this is. So this is even quite a lot. You can just do a nice little eyeliner right under the lash line. Now, they have an eyeliner brush, but I like using the smudge brush because it makes it a little bit thicker and smudgier, so you don't just have this line Anytime I see just a dark line, I just think it ages someone. I think having that smokiness just, it looks a little bit more natural. And on this side, I did a little bit better of a job in, in not applying so much. So what I'll probably do is just take my finger, lighten it up, and then smudge it back out. And that's what's so nice with smoky eyes. It's so easy if you kind of mess up, oh, well, just smudge it. Oh, there, look, all fixed. So it's all smudged and all smudged. So now we definitely want to do the top part because we don't want to just have, you know, smoky eyes underneath. We want a little smoke up top. So once again, I've got the little palette. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm not going to go all the way across the eye. I'm just going to do probably the last three fourths. And I already have mascara on and everything. I know a lot of times you would do that at the end, but I'm planning on, hey, I'm at work. I've been working all day with no eyeshadow and all of a sudden I realized, oh my gosh, I got somewhere to go and I only got five minutes to do it. So I already did my makeup, um, basic makeup. And for those of you who are wondering, I am wearing uh, Jane Iredell's, um, I know it's been on your mind this whole video. I am wearing their BB cream in and I am BB3. I probably could get away with one, but I just like three. It's just a little bit more peachy and one's a little bit more neutral. And I just like the peach because it just gives me a little bit of color. So that is what I am. And now for the other eye. I just try and stay as close to the lash line as possible because you don't want to have that weird gap between, you know, your mascara and eyeliner that always looks really weird. And because my eyelashes are naturally blonde, if I'm not, if I don't get really close to the base, it, I, I can actually have a gap between my eyeliner. Um, I've, I'm always envious of, of women or girls or whatever you want to call them, gals, if you will, that, uh, that have naturally dark eyelashes. I am not one of them. I have to darken mine with mascara. So now that I have just the, um, I guess the first layer, I'm just gonna do a little bit darker in the corners. Just gonna bring it up just a little bit. And actually, let's be a little crazy here. Let's go ahead and use the crease brush. You know, it's not meant for the crease, just because it's a little bit bigger might help me just get a little bit more area. So I'm just tapping into, into that dark, that double espresso, which is on the end. I'm just bringing it up just a little. There. 
Smokiness complete. Now what we might want to do, and I'm just going to, I just have a little tissue here, so I'm just going to wipe off uh, the dark from the on the crease brush. And I'm going to go ahead and take that Hush color, which is that light color, and I'm just going to blend a little bit right above. I really like putting a bright right above the um, eyeliner because I feel like it, it brightens your eyes. It just looks really nice. And then also a little trick, right in the corners. And then even sometimes what I'll do is even on the outside of the eyeliner. I think that just kind of helps brighten up. And that is it. So my eyes are all done now and nice and smoky and ready to go. So because I did darker eyes, or at least these are kind of dark for me, um, I did darker eyes, I want to stick with a neutral lip. And I'm really excited because this palette has Kaylee, which I'm usually not one for nude lips, but I really like Kaylee because it's kind of sheer and a little dark. And um, this palette does include Kaylee. And if you are curious on all of the lip colors, or most of the lip colors, I have swatches of most, not all, also on my blog, so you can see the colors there. So I'm just, I had taken that little lip brush that's included, and I'm just dipping it in Kaylee. And I didn't have anything on my lips before, and as you can see, it's just a little bit darker than my natural lip color. I also um, should mention I didn't have a primer on my eyes as well. Um, and the colors just really pop even without a primer. I really love Jane Iredell's eyeshadows. They're really pigmented. So you can see it's kind of like a neutral, um, maybe even slightly peachy. I really like this color. And it goes great when you've done darker lips and you, I mean darker eyes, and you kind of just want to have a little lipstick, but you don't want anything that's going to clash with the eyeshadow or compete. As Jen would say if she were here, that we're having an eye party and the lips are invited, but the lips don't get their own party today. I got to maintain Jen's spirit when she's not here. All right, and maybe even, I'm feeling a little zany, I might do a little bit of lip gloss, and they have five lip gloss options. I'm gonna go ahead and use the middle one, which I wrote it down, Beach Plum, which I actually also own this lip gloss. I own a lot of Jane Iredell, Iredell products. And Beach Plum is um, kind of a, uh, a peachy, pinky, sheer color. It's a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna kinda put that on just for a little bit of sparkle. It does have a nice little sparkle to it, whereas Kaylee does not. Kaylee has um, sort of a satin finish. It's not matte, but it's not, there's no sparkle or sheen. So, Beach Plum will give it just a nice little sheen. There, and now I have a full face of makeup. I'm ready to go out for happy hour, holiday party, you name it. And this is just one look, obviously. There are a lot of colors in here, um, which you'll see on the blog, and you kind of got some glimpses. I'll try to show you one more time. Lots of colors in here, so you can do all sorts of looks with this one little palette. So anyway, thanks for watching.